Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a filtered data extension in Salesforce Marketing Cloud. In the previous videos, I showed you how to create data extensions and sort them out. If you're not sure about that, please have a look at those videos. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a filtered DE, which is basically a um, filter that we add to an existing data extension and then gives us the results that we want. Um, so for instance, um, in a previous video, I created this data extension and I uploaded some data into it and it looks something like this. We have about eight contacts here. Uh, we know their first name, last name, and we also know the, uh, if they're active or not. So it wouldn't it be nice if we could actually filter on that and that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, um, one side remark, uh, in this video I'm going to use uh, filters and uh, filters are great as long as you want to filter on the information in just one data extension like this one. But if I wanted to filter on, um, for instance, whether or not these people have recently already received an email, then I would basically need to link email send information to the subscribers. Or let's say I want to check if these uh, subscribers recently made a purchase. Then I would need to cross-reference this data to that uh, purchase information. Now in both scenarios, and, and uh, there's a million others, um, filters will not cut it. Uh, like I said, filters are just based on one DE. If you want to go across um, several DEs, um, you can. Uh, and then um, I would recommend you to not use um, uh, cross DE filters. Maybe I'll cover that later, but it's a, it's a rather unreliable feature we have found. Um, instead, use the um, use uh, SQL queries, which is something that Marketing Cloud does support, and it's hugely flexible. However, it does require you to uh, you to know how to write SQL. Uh, or uh, alternatively, you can of course use our product, which is a uh, which is called Deselect. It's a third-party app that allows you to create very complex um, uh, segments or uh, targeted lists uh, or filters across as many DEs as basically you want. So that's just a um, side comment that what we're doing now is just based on one DE and then filters are fine. So uh, having shown you the DE, Let's go back to subscribers, uh, to this folder that I created earlier. And we're going to click the create button that we used earlier to create a DE. But as you've probably guessed by now, we're not going to create a standard data extension. We are going to create a filtered data extension. And now I can select the source, which is of course that subscriber DE that I showed you just before. Awesome. Um, once we've done that, we get to this screen, which is where I can define filter criteria. Uh, on the left hand side, I have the fields that I have available in this data extension. And I'm going to drag and drop active to the right hand side. And we're simply going to say active is true. Now, obviously, if you had other, other values or let's say for some reason you want to filter on last name, you can also do that. And you can see there's several options here. But for now, we're going to keep it very simple and just filter on active. Um, there's also something called measures. And um, measures um, are um, not so much about the data that you have stored in your DEs, but they're more about the interactions these customers have done. So for instance, you could say, let's see, um, what are the sends that have been done by marketing recently? or are there unsubscribes, or did these people uh, click in the last 30 days? And that's quite interesting. Um, so that is uh, the extent that you can filter um, on data linked to your subscribers, which shows something about uh, interactions. But if you wanna go further than this, or if, if what you wanna do is not listed here, again, you wanna go to either writing SQL queries or using deselect. Great, so um, I'm actually happy with this filter. It's uh, simple enough. And I'm gonna click save and build. And this is, will allow us to create a new data extension, which I will call subscribers to active. And I'll simply uh, store it here. Great. 
great. So uh, that has actually happened. And we can see that if you click on records, that in fact the four contacts that we had who are active have been saved here, which is perfect. Thanks for watching. Hey there, it's Anthony again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, whenever we put new videos online, you'll be notified automatically. Thank you and have a great day.